All right, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to prolong your lucid dreams. It's, very, it's all very well getting lucid and being able to control your dreams and everything. You know, you're aware of the fact you're dreaming, but how do you stay in the dream for longer? How do you actually take what you've already done, the experiences you're already having, and make them last a longer time instead of just the usual thing, right? Which, guys, here's what happens to most people. Here's what most people do when they first enter a lucid dream. They look around, they maybe do a reality check, they'll look at their hands and they'll say, wow, I'm, I'm dreaming, like, this is, I'm, I'm in a lucid dream. And they'll say, wow, I'm in a lucid dream, I can control all of this. And then, just like that, they wake up. Instantly, they wake up, they wake up, they're not lucid, they're just in a groggy, sort of tired state because they've woken themselves up in the middle of REM sleep. And they're discouraged, it's harder to go ahead and do it the next day, it's harder to keep going with lucid dreaming, and it's very hard to find the motivation to keep going when every time you finally become lucid, you just wake yourself up. So what can you do? There are actually a load of different things that you're able to do, which will enable you to not only stay lucid for longer, but also to be more like grounded and have more vivid experiences. So the first one is obviously to make sure that you're lucid in the first place. In yesterday's video, I spoke about lucid nightmares where you're sort of lucid in the sense that you know it's a dream, but you're not in control of it because you're not fully, fully lucid. I say the word fully with uh, quotation marks because fully lucid depends on what layer of lucidity you've reached. But but the real, the real thing you need to be aware of is whether you're actually in control of what you're doing and what you're doing as a dream character in a lucid dream. So there's several ways of doing that and we're gonna get into them. Don't click off this video just yet because this could be the most important video I've made about lucid dreaming. I say that in every video, but this one really feels like it's gonna be a very important video for you guys. So firstly, as soon as you're lucid, do a reality check instantly. I know that being lucid normally involves doing a reality check, but as soon as you're lucid and you think that you're gonna go ahead and do something, maybe you're gonna go in a certain direction and have an adventure or do something over there, before you go and get engaged with all of that stuff, you need to make sure that you're grounded now. You need to make sure that you're actually lucid right now. And the best way of doing that is just to do a reality check as soon as you become lucid. So you've done your first reality check, you've made sure that it's a dream, and and then as soon before you go off and do those other crazy things like flying and having sex with dragons and whatever you guys do, um, make sure that you do another reality check where you just sort of pay attention to your environment, look around you and really question whether things are real, whether it's just a dream. Really question whether you're lucid or not and look around you. Does the things seem weird to you? Look at the details of the world around you. For example, if I'm if I was doing it in this room, I would look at the whiteboard and I'd think is the writing on the whiteboard what it usually is, right? Is lighting in this room what it usually is? Are the things on my shelf where I usually would leave them, okay? And this is obviously easier if you're dreaming about a place you've been before, but it can work either way. So just look around and think, is that normal? Is what I'm seeing normal or could this be a dream? And obviously when you're lucid, you know it's a dream. So just say, so just use that to confirm things to yourself. Look around you and say, oh, well, this is that street I normally walk down, but obviously because I'm lucid and because this is a dream, that isn't quite how I remember it in real life. Just sort of logically build up this solid picture of your to yourself that you're lucid. Logically make yourself truly believe you're lucid and that it's all a dream. Obviously when you're lucid to begin with, you should know that, but you're, you're trying to strengthen that belief so that you're solid in your lucidity, so that you know for a fact, without any doubt, that whatever you do in this situation is not gonna have any consequences because it's a dream. The next thing you should do after you've done that visualization and just told yourself that it's all a lucid dream, is do a reality check. I would advise you to do the one where you try and push your finger through your palm, but you could also do other ones. You could look at some text. You could look at some text. So you could pick up a book or look at some text on your arm or on a watch or something. Look at the text, look away, and then look back at it. And if anything has changed, then obviously that's that confirms that you're in a lucid dream and you can use that as a reality check in and of itself. Next thing. There are loads and loads of people saying that you can enter a lucid dream and you can do things like you can rub your hands together, you can spin around on the spot and you can do things like meditating, gathering chi energy. Now these things all work, okay? But the sort of catch 22 here is they only work because I'm telling you they work. They only work really because you've been told by other YouTubers or by articles that if you rub your hands together in a lucid dream, it will stabilize the dream. And obviously there's nothing wrong with that because expectation is massive in a lucid dream. Whatever you expect to happen, whatever you believe truly will actually happen in a lucid dream is what will happen because your thoughts create the, the uh, reality in a lucid dream. That's not a bad thing, but the reason I'm telling you that is because you can sort of create your own prolonging techniques. You don't need to rely on 
what people have said about rubbing your hands together or spinning around because these are just things that other people have used which yes there is some sort of backing in the sense that by rubbing your hands together you're focusing on a physical aspect in the dream as opposed to a mental aspect which can be easily distracted so just make up your own ones for example you might attach the expectation to if you hold your wrist like this you might tell yourself every time I hold my wrist like this the harder I squeeze my wrist the more stable the lucid dream will become and if you tell yourself that enough times eventually it will be just as powerful as the rubbing your hands together uh, technique for prolonging lucid dreams because you've attached your expectation to that action of holding your wrist do you see how this works this isn't just about what other people are saying this is about what you can bring to the lucid dream yourself what what other people are saying, for example, rubbing your hands together, you know, um, spinning around on the spot, meditating, these things work, right? But for the most part, they only work for you if you tried them because you've been told they'll work. So you can make your own ones, guys. You can, you can like, for example, let's, let's go ahead with it. Let's do the, the wrist grab. Let's call it the wrist grab prolonging technique, okay? Every time you have a lucid dream, if you grab your wrist like this, the harder you squeeze your wrist, the more stable the lucid dream will be. Go ahead and try it and tell me if I'm wrong. Like, leave a comment if you don't think that's right. But as far as I'm aware and my experience, obviously, as I said, these videos are very subjective. This is just my experience. My experience tells me that if you do that, as I have done, it will work. The, the dream will be prolonged. Now, I should mention at this point, guys, that although this stuff, these techniques, these methods will prolong the lucid dream to some degree, there's only a certain amount of time that you can stretch your lucid state for. You can't have a lucid dream indefinitely, otherwise, you know, we'd all be doing it, wouldn't we? We'd all be laying there for hours on end. An insane amount of wasps on this window. If, if we could prolong the lucid dream for as long as we wanted, we'd all be in a lucid state for as long as we could manage, right? The truth of the matter is your REM sleep, which we have REM sleep between five to seven times a night, uh, depending on your sleep cycles and when you wake up, when you go to sleep. You can't change to a huge degree the length of your REM sleep. Your REM sleep, rapid eye movement, gets longer and longer as you go through the night. So in every night, you have several sleep cycles which last about 90 minutes. Now, at the, in the first sleep cycle, when you first go to sleep, your REM sleep will be very short. It'll be between five and 10 minutes, so even less. And then as you go on, as you finish that sleep cycle and, to, and enter the next one after about uh, three hours, you know, so the first one's 90 minutes, then the next one's another 90 minutes. The sleep cycles stay roughly the same at 90 minutes, but the REM sleep takes up a larger and larger portion of that cycle the closer you get to waking up. So this is why the best time to lucid dream is obviously in the early hours of the morning. It's also why at that time your dreams will last the longest. So what this means is if you want to prolong your lucid dreams, the most obvious and sort of low hanging fruit, the easiest way of doing that is to make sure that you're lucid dreaming, not at the start of the night, but towards the end of the night because this is when your REM sleeps longest anyway. You've already slept for those six hours, so you've had your deep restorative sleep that's gonna rejuvenate you and revitalize you and energize you and all that stuff. So what you're doing towards the end of the night is lucid dreaming at a time of night where it's likely to be the longest because your REM sleep will make up a larger portion of those sleep cycles. I hope this makes sense, guys. Um, I've sort of gone on a bit of a rant today because I've had uh, I've had my smoothie and it sort of lit me up. It sort of set me up for the day. Towards the end of the night, your REM sleep will be longer. Your the periods of your REM sleep will take up a larger percentage of your sleep cycle. Meaning that if you want to prolong your lucid dreams, that is when you should be doing it. Now, the the caveat here, that's the sort of catch twenty two, is that you although you should focus on having lucid dreams towards the end of the night, you know, in your REM sleep where it's the longest, the most effective way of getting there and of doing that is to interrupt your sleep, as, as in to cut your sleep in half during that time so that you enter a lucid dream when your REM sleep as it is at its longest. This usually involves wake back to bed, or the wild, but pretty much just to wake back to bed. It involves the wake back to bed technique, which involves cutting your REM sleep, waking up, and then going back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming. That is what will give you the highest time or the longest time in a lucid dream because you're as I said, targeting your REM sleep where your lucid dreams are the longest. The problem with that is that if you do that all the time, you're gonna feel knackered and you won't really sleep properly. So the compromise, the best ultimate solution, and I hope you're not getting bored yet because I'm about to drop the most important part of this video on you right now. If you want to have long lucid dreams, okay, that are vivid 
and that you're lucid and aware in, but you don't want to interrupt your sleep, which hopefully you shouldn't do because like I said, it's not good for you, it makes you feel tired, then what you're gonna to want to do is to build up the fundamentals and make sure you have what we call natural or spontaneous lucid dreams where the dream itself makes you lucid. Not your alarm clock, not a wristband, not a supplement, the dream itself. And that just involves the dream-induced lucid dream, the dialed, or the, or the mild, mnemonic-induced. Um, and that is for another video. I've, I don't know, I've actually turned the screen over on this camera, so I don't know how long I've been talking for. But I'll try and find a link to the dream-induced lucid dream uh, technique video, which will be in the description. Go ahead and watch that now if you want to do that. And like I said, just to recap, that is how the, the dialed is how you're going to get the longest dreams combined with the best sleep. And that's really what you want to hit. That's really what you want to do here, guys. You want to combine a technique which gives you the longest dreams, the most vivid, effective, easy to get, with you, you, want, you want to overlap that with the technique that's going to give you also restorative sleep. And where these two sort of mesh in the middle is the dialed or the mild, because these are natural, random uh, sort of inducing techniques, right? These don't involve waking up, they don't involve supplements, they don't involve technology or cutting your sleep in half or anything like that. They just involve pure and simple, the dream itself makes you lucid. And that is how you can have the longest lucid dreams compared to any other technique, any other method. In my personal opinion, as I said, this is all my opinion, based on my experience and research, I'm very open to criticism. I would love you guys to comment letting me know what you think. And if nothing else, just comment in this video telling me how much you like my hat. Done. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.